Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melder Production. Today I want to show you how you can create a custom GUI in M Turbo Amp. Of course, you can use the same thing for M Sound Factory or MXXX, etc. Whatever has a GUI uh, available that you can actually design for. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take a device. Or actually, we need to create a device. Here you see I have a preset with uh, everything for an amp. It doesn't really matter what it sounds like. This is just for the uh, design. As you see here, I have all these knobs and we need to first make this into a device before we do anything else. So click edit, go into the menu here. You see this says export device, click yes. Make sure it's not on pedals because this is an amp. If it is a pedal, you can click there, but I have it on root. I'll name it. So in this case, I'll just name it test, but you can put whatever you want there. Uh, put my name, just put Chan in there. You can put your website and other things, but you don't need to do that. And you can put a description down here for whatever you want. Uh, so a test, there we go. And since this is a guitar amp, I'll click this flag, this uh, low medium gain. I don't even remember what kind of gain this has, but it doesn't matter. And let's say specific. And then click OK, and this will create the device. So now when we go back, you see we have these devices and over here on the left on this list, we have our test device. Now we need to create a GUI. What we're gonna do is go in the exact same way and click on the menu. Make sure you're actually in the edit screen when you do this or else I don't think it shows up. Here we have the custom GUI designer. Click on that and you see this screen. The first thing we wanna do is we actually wanna load the device that we just made. So you see here where under settings where it says output, click on this and choose our device. So test. Okay. We have that and now we want to actually put a background in here. So now you see on the right, this big blank place. We don't want that, we want a picture. So what we're gonna do is choose this load background. Choose this and just choose whatever picture you have. Uh, you can adjust this here, but I think this is all right. I have this called Second Midwestern. I made this a while ago. It's not a very good uh, uh, GUI, but you get the idea. So click okay. And we have this. So this is our background. What we need to do now is we need to actually start adding other things like knobs. So here you see here, it says knob we can add this here by clicking it. Something else you might want to do in the settings, click this advanced and you see this grid opacity. I move this up. You can see there's an actual grid there and you can snap it here. This will determine the size of these squares. So we can snap it here. So that way you don't have to worry about getting things exactly right. It'll snap to the grid. So that way everything will be lined up. So we have this on here where we can see it. You can turn this off if it's annoying, just so you can see it. But for me to line it up, I'll do it this way. We have our knob here. Click OK. Actually, I'll turn this off so you can see it. This is a knob. This is kind of too big and not really what I want. So what we can do is first just click on it and we can make it smaller. And that's where we can use this grid here so we can see it and line it up wherever you want. I think this is good. Uh, let me turn the grid off for a second. It's kind of annoying me. So you can see this, but you think, I don't want this. This isn't a good knob for me. So let's move and you can just check out whatever you want. Uh, I kind of like this, I saw like a chicken head knob here. Uh, where is it? Uh, there. So like this, I can just a few variations here. Uh, like This black one, I like the white one better. Uh, let's say I like this. What I can do from here is I can actually hook this up to one of my parameters. So I click target here. And since it loaded my uh, amp or my device, I can click here and it says this modern gain, this is the gain control here. Just click OK. Let's move this down a bit because this is kind of getting in the way. And there's lots of things I can adjust here. You're thinking like, oh, hey, what if I want to put like numbers on it? So you see we have the name here. It's enabled now. I turn it off, gain disappears, enabled. I can change it to uppercase. And I'll show you how to change the fonts later. But uh, let's say I like it like this. Next thing you're wondering, like, what if I want like one, two, three, four, etc you need to go into units like this and click here and you see it has min and max. Actually, I might wanna make this knob a little bit smaller like this, okay? Go back into here and think, oh, okay, this is pretty good. Or actually, one thing I don't like about it is this gain, the it's just too small actually, or it's too large. So I want this to be a little bit larger. Uh, resize it, come on, there. Uh, sorry, here at the corner. Resize it. This knob size seems okay, but eh, I don't like how this is so far up. So I just go here, 
and I just shift this Y and I can move the gain up and down here. But first, let's do the units. Now you see it's min and max. You can leave that how it is, but here where it says units, you can change this. So if I wanted like one, two, three, four, I put one, semicolon, two, semicolon, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, 10. I could make it go to 11 if I wanted to, but this seems okay. And then I have that, and I'm just gonna go to the name again and just move the up a little bit. So I think mm, this sounds good or looks good. That's fine. So I have this, it looks good enough. Of course, it just is however you like, and there's other things you can do, but I, I think this is good enough for me. I'll click this again, and I'm gonna click duplicate. Okay, so now I have two of them. You think, why am I doing this? And I can line these up. You can turn on the grid again, if you think it's easier for you. But uh, I think this is maybe good enough. Maybe put a little bit more spacing in between it. And this is the exact same thing. If I right click it, it pulls up the exact same thing. And I don't want two things controlling the gain. So I click here where it says target and I just change this to base. Okay, and now I have one for base. And I'll do the exact same thing again, duplicate. I'll move this over, try to get it however you like it so it's lined up. I'm not sure if that's completely perfect, but you get the idea. Right click this, change this to middle. Again, duplicate this and change it to treble. Like I said, it's very important to do it right the first time because you're gonna have to redo all these if you kind of mess it up. Uh, change this to the treble. Oh, treble here. Again, duplicate. I will right click this, change this to presence. I know this is getting kind of old, but we only got one more. Hang in there. Here we go and then change this last presence to volume. So these are all our knobs. This is pretty much all you have to do. I might want to space these a little bit more, but there's one more thing here I'll show you, and that is the on and off switch. So here, before I use the knob, and there's sliders, units, etc. But here I want to use a button. You see it moves here. I can make this smaller. It's way too big. Let me resize it. There we go. It's probably going to need, be, need to be even smaller than that. And let's do the same thing. Target. I'm going to use this off. So this will be our power button. And I can label it power if I want. Like this. But I don't really like this. This kind of push button. I want something else. So I can look through these different buttons. And like, oh, most of these are the same. Some of these are better. Some of these are worse. Uh, kind of like LED, etc. You have to move all those, but some of these are closer to what I want. Let me see if I can find one. I like this. I think this is pretty good. So what I'm going to do here is just make this a lot smaller because this is way too big. Let's see, maybe about here. One thing I don't like about this is look how the text is there. It's all squished together and I could move it up, but you see how the it's being cut off and moved to the next line? I don't like that at all. So what I'm going to do is just Turn this off. I can resize this. Maybe this is too big. Maybe this is too small. A little smaller. There. And you think, uh, you want something over that. You don't want it just blank there. So what I can do is, now that I have the button all set up the way I want it, is I can add a text box here. And I can make that whatever size I want and move it around, etc. So if you have something that's just not fitting, you can do it that way. And I'll just label this power. And I should probably line it up. Eh, that's a little bit better. If I don't like this for some reason, see all these are using a uh, font for parameter two. If you want to change that, change it to a different parameter. Let's try miscellaneous one. It made it smaller, but you're like, okay, well, how do I control it in like make the sizes different or do something else or you know change the font completely? Where you see this miscellaneous, I think it was one here. Now, as I move this around, you can see it's actually changing. So let's do one that's really different, like this. There. That's way too small, but I can make it larger by adjusting the height. I can adjust the space in between this, if I like that. Scrunch it together. I can change the width a bit if I want. Whatever I think sounds good, you can go with that. And with that, now you can do all sorts of things here. Also, I should say, I showed you these, like the buttons and the knobs, but there's other things you can do. Some of the other things you can do is you can add an XY pad here if you wanted that. I don't really need that, but it's there if you want it. If you have something like this, you're like, oh, this is no good, I don't want this. Just find it here at the bottom, like this. 
like the XY pad, where is it? Actually, it's already selected here because it's highlighted in red. And just click delete and you can get rid of it. There you go. You don't have it anymore. There's other things you have knobs, sliders, etc. So if there's something that you don't like, here's a slider. You have like this, it's more like a digital slider, but you also have some, oh, these are some like you hear in uh, like more analog style sliders. And of course you can change this, the colors and everything here, like changing the colorize. Let me see, what other colors can I do? Like that. So there's a lots of things you can do with this. And I believe you can even uh, import your own. So here it's like the templates. These are the ones that are already included, but if you know how to make knobs and things like that, you can go into custom and you can load the images and you can put shadows on it and all sorts of other things. Uh, like you see colorized background. Uh, there's tons and tons of things you can do with this. Let me delete this because I don't need it. But if I'm happy with this, what I need to do next is probably save it or use save as and let's say that use video test. So I'll save it as video test. Okay. Here. Next thing I want to do is I want to export it. What that's doing is that will attach it to the actual device. And then it should be done. Go here, go out. I don't see it. Click on something else. Go back to test. Ta-da. There you go. And of course, it's kind of resizable. You can move it around. If you want to go back later, all you have to do is just go back into the edit custom GUI and then move things around. You'd be like, ah, you know, I want to, you know, space these out a little bit more, kind of move this to the side, move this over, etc. Or, ah, oh, I want to add, you know, something else. I don't like this. You can change it and then just export it again. You'll be good. So hopefully this gave you some ideas and things you can do. Of course, if you're a better uh, graphic designer than me, you can come up with something that looks a lot better. This is just to show you how to do it basically if you're somebody that's great at graphic design but you're just like how, how do i do this thing hopefully this gave you an idea and of course you can use this with uh m sound factory too which is probably what i should be doing but uh like i said i'm not good at graphics if you have any questions leave these leave those down below uh give me a thumbs up if you like this and check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com Till next time see you